Welcome to the 2018 Holiday Gift Guide. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking you through some of our top picks for holiday gifts for the plinker in your life. First on our list today, the SIG MPX. Now this is the slightly shorter version uh, of the MCX that also has the shroud on it. So this is gonna be a little bit louder, but a little bit shorter, more maneuverable. You have a couple iterations of this gun, uh, but overall a very uh, authentic feeling AR style gun. Uh, you have a 30 round belt fed magazine in there, semi-automatic of course, with all the normal controls realistic charging handle obviously ambidextrous safety switch as well you got some rail sections up here you can mount lasers lights optics whatever you choose runs off an 88 gram co2 cartridge that goes right in the back of the gun uh, this is a ton of fun and pretty accurate as well as a pellet shooter next on our list a budget friendly brake barrel made in germany the diana 240 now this sports the T05 trigger, not the T06, but still a very respectable trigger on what is basically a youth or a uh, just kind of plinking rifle. Very light cocking effort and very easy shooting. This one's typically very accurate. You can throw a scope on the 11 millimeter dovetail or you can run the fiber optic sights, whatever you prefer, but this is definitely a good one to look at if you're just looking to enjoy some time with a brake barrel. Next up, a very popular pistol here at Pyramid Air the Beeman P17. Now this is basically a Chinese clone of the German P3. So very similar styling uh, as well as features and functionality, uh, but maybe not quite the quality, but for 30 bucks, it's definitely not a bad buy. Uh, you simply pull back on the fake hammer there. You go ahead, you pump it once, close that guy down. You disengage the automatic safety, you pull the trigger and typically a pretty nice trigger. A little bit of a pop, but they're usually very accurate and very easy to shoot. Next up, Peacemaker pistol with John Wayne's face on it. This is the Duke, the single action army pistol here. Uh, now this is a nickel finished pellet version. There's also BB versions of this. Couple different finishes. You have a weathered finish as well. Um, there's some other barrel lengths as well floating out around there. So uh, a very, very nice replica pistol of the single action army. Functions great and typically very accurate right out of the box. Good number of shots on them as well and very realistic functionality. You flip that guy up, you can load your BBs or pellets, depending on which version you get there, right into the shells, or you can drop the shells out to load them. This thing's a ton of fun and very easily maneuverable, so the youth shooters can use it just as well as you adults out there. Next on our list, the Diana Chaser. Now this guy comes as the pistol you see here, or in a rifle kit with a longer barrel and a buttstock. You can even get magazines to run this as a multi-shot, so there's a lot of options and a lot of different ways you can set this gun up to work best for you. A very cool little gun. We did a full review on it. If you're looking for more information on it, definitely check out that video, uh, but a really solid option for those of you modders and, and tweakers out there that like to play around with your guns and like to have a pretty stout CO2 pistol in your collection. For those of you guys looking for a little bit more accurate CO2 plinker, the Beeman QB78, this is a personal interest gun of mine. As is, this is really the gun that got me into air guns when I first started. You have a raised cheek piece here on the right hand side. So this is a uh, deluxe stock version, uh, but certainly you could run this as a lefty as well, but a bolt action CO2 gun, single shot. You got open sights or you can run it with a scope with the 11 millimeter dovetail. A uh, gun that's been around for a very long time and remains tried and true and a favorite among plinkers. Check it out. Next up, another gun we've done a review of, the Ben. Benjamin Wildfire. Now this is basically the PCP brother of the Crossman 1077. So you have a 12 round semi-automatic kind of double action repeating system inside of here. Uh, heavy trigger, but a lot of fun to shoot. If you're just looking to plink targets in the backyard and you already have a PCP set up, or if you're looking to get into PCPs and you're not looking for something that's terribly difficult to pump or fill, this is a great option, guys. Check out the Wildfire. And last but not least, uh, guys, if you are into a good quality spring piston gun, you cannot beat the Beeman R7. Uh, this is a fantastic German made gun made by Wyrock in Germany. Uh, very easy to cock, easy to shoot, super accurate. You have the record trigger, one of the best out there. Very low recoil impulse and usually just laser accurate, guys. Comes with a few different front sight inserts so you can really kind of tailor that sight system to whatever you like or you can throw a scope on it and run it with an optic, of course. Um, but a very good feeling rifle, very great quality. This is gonna be one that will last a lifetime, guys. Definitely check out the Beeman R7. 
Thanks for joining us today here for the Holiday Gift Guide on Plinkin' Guns. If you're looking to get into the backyard anytime soon and do some shooting, these are guns you're definitely going to want to take a look at. For the Insider Guys, I'm Tyler Patner. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one.